Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So here we're given f of x and g of x and we're asked to find f of g of 7. So that means we want to find g of 7 first of all and then find f of whatever that turns out to be. So we're working from the inside out. So let's just write that so it's really clear. We're trying to find f of g of 7. And the first thing that we can do then is to work out g of 7. So let's just work that out over here. And all we need to do for that is put the 7 in instead of the x. So it's 5 over 7 minus 2. And so that's going to be 5 over 5, which is 1. So that means that what we're trying to do is to find f of 1. So now we're substituting 1 in for x in the function f. So that's going to be 4 times 1 over 3 times 1 plus 8. So that turns out to be 4 over 3 plus 8, which is 4 over 11. So the really important thing here is at the very beginning to get this the right way round. Because if you do it the other way round, if you find f of 7 first of all, and then find g of that, you will get a completely different answer. 